Hi guys, welcome back to Stacking Shelves. Um, I am super tired, but gonna film this anyway. So this actually is my couple. I filmed this a couple times, and I just can't stand myself talking. Um, so weird. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, the first book I'm. I guess the first three books I'm gonna show you are from Kensington's book. Um, and it is a part of their kind of summer wedding series. Yes, it is romancy. But I really, really, really think these three books stood out um, from the selections I had to pick. And they are very interesting. First of all, it, this book is very pushing on my boundary of where, um, what genre I normally read. My sister is probably laughing in her room at me because she's like, that's so not you. But really, I read Kite Runner, and th that book was totally, I thought I would never pick up that book normally, but I had to read that for English class, and wow, top three book I ever read in my whole entire life, and I cried every other page, and yeah, one of my friends was like, really, you cried? I'm like, yeah, I did, I did. It was a beautiful book. But anyway, on to the books I'm going to talk about that I received in my mailbox, I guess, um, not my mailbox anymore, but... That I'm gonna stack on my shelf, I guess. Um, is Bella Fortuna by okay, this lighting is horrible. Rose Rosanna Shiofano. Yeah. As you can tell, I am so not good at reading pronouncing names, I'm so sorry. But it is um set in Venice, so ooh, I'm so excited. I'm reading the I guess the cover um synopsis thing. Um, yeah, and it's set in Venice, and it's about kind of, I guess, romance and finding, like, deciding love and kind of life and stuff, and it's, it's very not me. I mean, I have to agree that you, if you ask anybody who knows me, that's very not me, but I am giving this a try, because I think there is something there for me. But, yeah. Anyway, the next book I, as well, received from Kendall's book, it is The Chocolate Thief, and it is by... Hopefully you can see Laura Floron, and as you can tell, yeah, it is a romance book as well. I'm sorry, I'm talking so weird. I'm so weird. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I just had a horrible physics lesson. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, um, this is um kind of chiclety, but it has mystery in it. So whoa, I actually do like. I really adore. I'm not just saying I like, but I actually love and adore these kind of books that are a kind of chiclety contemporary romance with kind of mystery and other stuff into it. That it just makes the book amazing. I love, love, love. My my sister will never understand me. But anyway, so super, super excited. Um, let's see. Um, I think Bella Fortuna is coming out September this year, and Chocolate Thief is coming in August. So. Still quite a long time for it. I'm ho I'm gonna definitely do reviews on them because they're probably really awesome. Um, th of course I've been holding the next book. I'm gonna show you. It is Michelle Sinclair's A Woman Made for Pleasure. And my sister laughed at me for even getting a title that is named that. Like she's like, really, really, are you kidding me? But no, it's yes, I got into romance because of Heather Snow's Sweet Enemy, but. I really found that those romance, these romance books are less romancy than some of the YA books I read. I mean, seriously, I there are many YA books that I'm like, whoa, that is not considered romance. Well, this is considered romance. I don't know why, but this is kind of, with mystery involved into it. I love these kind of mixture of books. Oh my god, I'm making weird faces. I mean, I'm just being weird. Yes, so super excited. This comes out August, so yeah, look out for it. Um, then the next review books I receive is part of a blog tour that I'm gonna have on my blog, and it's Tisa Vine by Heather Huffman, and it's an autograph copy, as you can see. And if my friend sees me, they'll be like, "Really, you do not read those type of books, romance book, really?" But um, this is a, as well kind of a romance suspense mystery books, so super excited. I mean. It's kind of, I'll give you a, like, legit a sentence of what it's basically about. And it's, um, uh, determined to get to know the mystery man called out by her mother on her deathbed. A young woman uncovers the secrets of her past while finding love in the present. So it's kind of a mystery kind of 
you kind of find out what her life is like, which I always intrigues me. I'm like, I want to know what your life is like. I'm kind of creepy, but that's me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blabbering, and it's like five minutes already. I'm so sorry. But the next book uh, is a book I bought, and it's The Crescent by Jordan Bean. Um, I did a vlog tour for this book and the second book um a while back, and I just basically fell in love with all, all the reviews that people written and all the the plot and the basically idea of this book. Yes, it is werewolf, and I'm not a fan of werewolf and vampires, but really this book really stood out for me, and I think I'm really gonna like it, so I bought it. And then the last book is a book that I want, and it is um part of the guides read um library of great reading kind of scary i suppose and it's a third volume called the sports pages and it's edited by ooh, john Sienska. i'm really bad at pronouncing names but it's very interesting i never uh, it's kind of i didn't know that children's literature had something like this like all the okay yeah they do but like I never heard of this series. I'm very interested. I'm really, really in love with Walden on presents of the um, all the collection of books because their books seem so epic. All the books that they have seem so epic. So I'm super excited to kind of read this, and I'm so glad that I won. I went off Twitter uh, for the Walden Pond Press um Twitter handle. So yeah. Um, I'm just, once again, kind of obsessed with Mom and Paul and Press. But anyway, that was it. Okay, I'm just, you probably can't even hear me. I've been talk, I haven't been talking loud. That's because I am, I don't know, so tired. Anyway, I'm going to guess sign off. But remember to watch Supernatural on Friday, which is tonight. And Legend Core on Young Justice on Saturday. So yeah, I'll be hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, doing the Round Justice and Korra reviews, because I really don't know how to do a supernatural review. It's so hard to do one. I tried and totally failed. Anyway, so yeah, I'll be signing off, and hopefully see you guys next week. Bye!